Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, let's see. For my Librans in separation. Okay, so we have two cards for you guys. We have Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Okay, and then we have uh, Reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Okay, so safe to say your person is definitely, you know, taking a trip down memory lane at this time. Definitely, you know, uh, a lot of missing and longing here. But it does say as the in the first card there, I don't want to chase anymore. So for some of you, this could be kind of like a runner chaser dynamic. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, split the deck and we have the Lovers. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, but what I see here, uh, Libra, is this is someone who's trying to make a decision that will bring the both of you some sort of peace. So it's like they're not trying to step on your toes and they're trying to do something very carefully. They are very attracted to you, but there's a choice that they're trying to make, but in like a peaceful manner is what I'm picking up on. Okay, so let's see. The magician. Yeah, they're manifesting a, a new beginning here. They're also like wanting to take control of the situation or they're realizing that if they want to see some sort of change in this dynamic, they're going to have to make the change on their own. That's how they feel. Uh, with the nine of wands here, they may view you as someone who is a bit guarded from them at this time. This could also be letting me know that there's a blocked energy. Okay, so someone here could quite literally be blocked. We have the ace of wands, the four of cups. Yeah, they're not happy where they are, right? So whether that's in another commitment, whether that's on their own, the four of cups could be when you're not satisfied with your reality. Instead, you're more focused on your past. And I, and I see that because the second card there is reminiscing. So this person is very focused on what you guys had together. The world, yeah. It's like they feel something is closing out here. So even if it's the past with you, they're trying to, you know, have a new beginning here. They're trying to be more expressive, more open with their emotions with the King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to offer you their cup of love, yes, but I think that there's something pertaining to their emotions that they want to talk about. Because with the Knight of Swords, they want to rush in with communication. So this could be someone who is having a very hard time, like, fighting the urge, uh, you know, to speak to you. And the King of Cups could be like an emo like a conversation about emotions where they're expressing to you how they feel, but they also want to know how you view them and how you're feeling about the separation. But I do see that in their focus right now is like, you know, reality is sinking in, like something is coming to an end because with the world that does talk about like a, a cycle closing. Okay, um, let's see. It's like some of you feel like something needed to come to an end in order for, uh, you know, something to be brought to light. The two of swords, okay, bottom of the deck, we have the five of swords, the high priestess, the knight of wands. Okay, so when your person thinks about the future with you, there's something here that they have questions about. Because with the two of swords, it's there's some sort of uncertainty, that's why they're in between worlds. I will say that this person is trying their best to accept the reality of the situation, but how they perceive you or the situation in their mind is very different. So that's why the Two of Swords is like when you're kind of in between worlds, but there's also a lot of questions because the blindfold represents uncertainty. So with the Five of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Wands, this person may feel like you kind of took your energy back from the situation once you felt like this person was fickle or they were not um, consistent. Okay, so they may feel like the lack of consistency has uh, made you silent or draw your energy back here with the five of swords. They're very conflicted because you are silent with them. This could be someone who's trying to like get to the bottom of the situation. They're trying to figure out what's going on, but they feel like they're constantly going in circles. Okay, for some of you, this could also be silence after an argument, like some sort of conflict where a lot was said. 
So if it was like a harsh exchange of words, uh, you know, they could feel like, you know, that this is why, you know, you the both of you are not speaking or more specifically, if you chose not to speak to this person, they do feel like it could be because of a conflict. Um, what is the magician? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the Seven of Swords, the Sun card, the Queen of Cups. You don't trust this person's offer. That's how they view you. They feel like if they were to communicate with you or offer you something, you would have a lot of <clears throat> questions here with the Seven of Swords. What's being illuminated to you is this person wasn't completely honest. They could have been someone who was wearing a facade or you felt like there's definitely something going on behind the scenes that this person is not uh, telling me. That's how you felt. Um, so with the Knight of Pentacles here, guys, it is a premeditated energy. It is someone who's moving closer to you, but they're thinking about their every move thoroughly. Okay, this is someone who's taking their time. Now, I do feel like in the past, this could have been an issue if you felt like your person, like you were okay with being patient, with them taking their time, but you felt like they took way too long to actually move things to the next level. For some of you, you feel like they were kind of stalling because they had something else going on, right? It doesn't have to be that they were involved in another connection, but you just felt like this person wasn't being honest with you. There was something here that they were being very strategic about. And it and it was, it did come to light with the sun card behind it. Um, what's the world card? The Knight of Wands. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, like they feel very connected to you, but showing up in, you know, we, we see two Knights here, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and now we see the Knight of Swords. It's someone where you feel like there's um, <clears throat> there's a lack of consistency. Like this person is not consistent in their approach. When they speak to you, you don't really, you're not really sure when they're going to stop speaking to you. Um, or there's an energy of, you know, you feeling that you don't really have anything to hold on to, any sense of hope, or you don't really know how this connection will uh, how you guys will solidify this if this person has an in and out behavior because it's like someone who is thinking about how to move closer to you but with the world and the knight of wands like there is a lot of passion there is like a like this urge that your person feels to speak to you but it's not consistent is what i see as like the uh, uh issue here and then the two of cups and the ace of cups is obviously someone who feels connected to you but again, you know, showing up in this energy, I feel like what's affecting this bond is the fact that there's like an on and off energy here, or this person is very in and out. Um, two of Swords. Like for some of you, you may want something very stable and you feel like this person does not match that energy. Or, you know, maybe they're, you know, there's someone who's, um, you know, on their feet. They like to travel very spontaneous, but you're wanting to like lay your roots somewhere or you're wanting to be in a very stable situation where both of your mindsets are kind of contradicting or your or what you guys are desiring from this connection is contradicting it doesn't change the fact that you guys feel connected to each other but what you guys want from the connection is different okay i hope that makes sense what is the two of swords wow the ten of pentacles bottom of the deck here the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like when your person thinks about being in a commitment, there's so many questions that they have or there's like uncertainty to a level because the Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the Two of Swords. So many of you feel like, yes, the connection is there, but when it comes to, you know, um, laying ground rules or speaking about a commitment, there's some sort of like avoidant energy. And it's like your person feels connected to you, but they're not making the decision to commit. Commitment's on their mind, but if the two of swords is there, it means there's still a choice that needs to be made. Again, something needs to be solidified here. Um, and with the eight of swords and the king of wands, some of you feel like this person's very stuck when it comes to, like they become mentally stuck when it comes to pursuing or going after what they truly desire. Because the king of wands is someone or an energy of pursuing, you know, what you're passionate about, you know, picking that very thing or very person and you nurture it every single day. But with the eight of swords in front of the king of wands, you feel like this person's very mentally stuck when it comes to figuring out exactly what they want from this connection and then furthermore, uh, you know, pursuing it. So you feel like there's either a lot that they tell themselves that they tend to believe or this is someone who spends a lot of time in their mind, you know, just thinking, but they're not really coming to a solution here. Okay, so what is the Knight of Pentacles? 
we have the Six of Swords. I think that many of you could have moved on from this person or you're trying to because of the pace, uh, like the pace of this bond or the fact that even if this person takes a while to communicate with you, when they do communicate with you, you feel like you end up at square one. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Five of Swords. High Priestess. It's like you feel like you have a lot of love to give here, um, but you're very conflicted with the Five of Swords because it's like, do I, you know, uh, you know, kill kill them with kindness? You know, do I be open for a conversation, or do I just remain silent with the High Priestess? It's like you know you have a lot of love to give, but you also feel that intuitively there's something here that you don't trust. So it's like, do I want to put my heart on the line? Do I want to fully invest in this situation? And, 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 you know, is it actually going to work out for me? So with the Six of Swords, I see more of like a armor around your heart or some sort of protective barrier between the both of you. Um, what is the Knight of Wands? The King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of conversation that's weighing very heavily on your person's mind. It could have been a harsh exchange of words. The King of Swords in reverse could be someone who is being very truthful or blunt with you, but they're not really sparing your emotions, right? So it could have been a conversation that turned into a conflict. Now they're wanting to make, you know, peace with the situation. But I will say how they're viewing you right now, Libra, is someone who's frustrated, someone who's fed up with the situation because you feel like there's either a lack of clarity or there's a decision to be made. You know, maybe some of you are, you know, in between worlds because you're like, this person tells me all the right things and they tell me they want to be in a commitment and they feel so connected, but their behavior is telling me something else. So it, again, it's causing you some sort of mental conflict because how they view you is someone who is fed up with this uh, current situation, current dynamic. Um, what is the Ten of Pentacles? So we have the Knight of Swords, and then we have the Two of Cups that wanted to come out with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. I see this person communicating with you, you know, whether that is something you want or not. I see them rushing in Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, because their emotions are, you know, outweighing any sense of worry. They have this urge to fix things with you. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands. But I will say, you know, with the Two of Cups, there could be this, uh, you know, attraction, this mutual attraction, a lot of chemistry. Ace of Cups could be, you know, a new, um, you know, love offer that someone is rushing in to give you. But with the Two of Swords, there is a choice that needs to be made. With the King of Swords in reverse, some of you are still feeling a bit upset or you feel something that occurred in this bond is still very fresh on your mind where it's like, I really need to think about this when this person communicates with me. It's not a decision that you will be making overnight. Okay, so I do see that um, in the cards here, but I also feel, guys, like, you know, we have one king here, which is in reverse, and the, you know, then we have three knights. So there's something very in and out here. Maybe some of you want to communicate to this person that in order for us to have a change, there needs to be more certainty, there needs to be more more planning, you know, less of like holding back or, uh, you know, hiding or, or suppressing our emotions. There's some changes that you want to see here. Um, but I do feel like as of right now, you are upset or you are not happy, you know, with this dynamic. There's something that you made clear to this person. Um, and I think they're very aware that you are frustrated at this time. Again, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. That is someone who's going to come in to speak about commitment. That is someone who's going to come in to express their emotions to you. But I don't see it as like a decision being made right away is what I'm getting at. So let's see what they want to communicate to you. Okay, what does this person want to tell Libra? We need to let each other go, okay? And then we have, I am afraid to contact you. For sure, because with the King of Swords in reverse, they may feel like you either have a piece of humble pie for them or you've just made something very clear. And then it says, I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, what's on the bottom of the deck here? I'm so attracted to you. Yeah. What I see here, Libra, is definitely someone who could be, you know, obviously fearing your response. 
Um, I do feel like if there is communication that takes place, this choice that you have to make is something that you're really going to think about because with the Knight of Wands there and the King of Swords in reverse, something you're not willing to tolerate is that in and out energy. So again, you know, it could be that you're communicating this very thing to this person saying, hey, like we need to be more consistent with each other or this is what needs to change in order for us to have a successful commitment. Do I see this person um, as someone who's, who feels connected to you? Absolutely. I, I do see that. But the first card there is I don't want to chase anymore. There's something here you're not willing to go back and forth with anymore. It's like this has to change or, you know, this is not going to work kind of energy is what I'm getting here. Because again, King of Swords in reverse, you're, you're currently fed up with what's going on is what I'm sensing. Okay. So my wonderful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.